Hi viewers and students, today discuss a new concept in the chapter sets that is equal sets. What are equal sets? Two sets A and B are said to be equal if they are subset to each other. Each other means A is subset to B and B is subset to A. Then those two sets are equal sets. Let us understand clearly. A subset B means all the elements of A are in B. B subset A means all the elements of B set are in A. When it is possible, when those two sets are equal sets only. So the condition for two sets are equal is both sets are subsets to each other. Two sets A and B are equal if and only if A subset are equal to B and B subset are equal to A. That condition you can see on the screen. A subset B means all the elements of set A are in B. B subset A means all the elements of set B are in E. All the elements of A are in B, all the elements of B are in E. That means nothing but both are equal. Let us understand with an example. See children, let us take a set A. This consists of the elements A, B, C. These are the three elements in set A. Let us take another set B. This consists of the element B, C, A. Now you observe these two sets. First set A consists A, B, C. These elements are in B set or not? As clearly. So we write A subset B as shown on the screen. Let us take it as a first condition. And next you see whether B subset A or not. Observe those two sets. Very good. All the elements of B are in A. The B set consists of B element. The B element is also in set A. The B set consists of C element. C is also in set A. The B set consists of A element. A is also in set A. Clearly all the elements of B are in A. So B subset A. This is the second condition. What you understand by these two conditions? All the elements of B are in B. And the second condition says all the elements of B are in A. Clearly those two sets are equal. Already we know the elements order is not taken into consideration when we write the sets. So we write from one and two conditions A is equal to B. Okay. Let us see once again two sets are said to be equal if and only if they are subset to each other. A and B are B are said to be equal sets if and only if A subset are equal B and B subset are equal A. Okay. Now, in simple words, let us try to understand equal sets. Two sets are said to be equal if they have same elements and the same number of elements. See children, two sets are equal if the two sets have same number of elements and the two sets have same elements. It is uh, in very clear words. You can understand very easily. Suppose you take uh, set uh, P. This set consists of the elements uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And B is the set said as X such that X is a even number. X uh, belongs to N x less than or equal 10. This is the B set. Let us try to understand whether these two sets are equal or not. Uh, already set A is in roster form. It is very clear. A is equal. It consists of the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. B set is said as x such that x is a even number. x belongs to an x less than or equal 10. Here it is the set builder form. All the elements of uh, set B are uh, represented by X. X such that. X such that. Such that means how X? How X is? X is a even number. Even natural number. X belongs to N. So X is a even natural number. 
Even natural numbers are what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so and so. But here condition is given x should be less than or equal to 10. So we take up to 10. What are the elements inside B? B is equal to 4, 6, 8, 10. These are the elements of set B. When you observe all the elements of set A are in B. So A subset B. This is the first condition satisfied. All the elements of B are in A. So, the second condition B subset A is also satisfied. From these two conditions, we clearly say A is equal to B. Or by observation, we can simply write all the elements of A are in B, all the elements of B are in A. So, A is equal to B. We can write like this also. Let us try to solve the question from exercise 2.3. Which of the following sets are equal? First question. A set is given as X such that X is a letter in the word follow. F-O-L-L-O-W. And B set is given as X such that X is a letter in the word flow. F-L-O-W. Flow. And C set is given as X such that X is a, X is a letter in the word woof. W-O-L-F. Woof. Now, we have to check whether these three sets are equal or not. Already we discussed how two sets are equal. What are the conditions to be satisfied for two sets will be equal. Now let us try to write the given set builder forms in roster form. See what is the first set A is equal to X such that X is a letter in the word follow. Now we write set A in roster form. A is equal what are the elements in set A? Letters of the word follow. What are the letters in the word follow? F-O-L-L-O-W. So, we take the letters F-O-L-W. These are the elements in set A. All the letters cannot be taken because in sets, repeated elements cannot be taken into consideration. So, we take F, O, L, T. These are the elements of set A. And set B is equal to X such that X is a letter in the word flow. This is the set builder form. Let us try to write this set builder form of the set B in roster form. Set B is equal, we write X is a letter in the word flow. What are the letters in the word flow? F, comma, L, comma, O, comma, D. These are the four letters in the word flow. This is the set B in roster form. Now we go for the set C. What is the set C? X says that X is a letter in the word hoof. Let us try to write this word in roster form. C is equal. What are the elements in set C? Letters in the word hoof. What are the letters in the word hoof? Say children, W. Comma O, comma L, comma F. Okay. We did write all the sets A and B, C are in roster form. Now let us try to check. First, we consider A and B sets. Observe children. What are the elements of A? F, O, L, W. Very good. What are the elements of B? F, L, O, T. What did you observe? All the elements of A are in B. Yes or no? All the elements of A are in B. So, we write A subset B. We consider it as first condition. And again you observe whether all the elements of B are in A or not. See children, in the set B there are elements F, L, O, T. Elements in set A, F, O, L, W. Clearly, order of elements is different. F is in both the set, L is in both the sets, O is in both the set, W is in both the sets. All the elements of B are in A. So, B subset A. This is the second condition. What do you conclude from these two conditions? All the elements of B are in B. So, A subset B. All the elements of B are in A. So, B subset E. From 1 and 2 condition, we come to conclusion that A is equal B. 
now let us uh, treat this equation as uh, third equation okay now we go for the sets b and c see children what is the set b f f comma l comma o comma w as its elements and what is the c set observe w comma o comma l comma f are the elements of set c you observe b and c sets what did you observe all the elements of b are in c f is in b and c l is in b and c o is in b and c and f w is also in b and c so all the elements of b are clearly in c so we write b subset c treat it as fourth condition c children now let us check all the elements of c are in b are not c elements of c are what that o l f what are the elements of b f l o d order is different w is in set c and b o is in set c and b l is in set c and b f is in set c and b so all the elements of set c are in b so we clearly write c subset b this is the fifth condition what did you observe from fourth and fifth conditions fourth condition says all the elements of b are in c and fifth condition says all the elements of c are in b clearly from fourth and fifth condition we conclude that b is equal to c this is the our sixth equation now you observe children third condition says a is equal to b and sixth condition says b is equal to c from transitive property a is equal to b and b is equal to c clearly we conclude that from third and sixth conditions a is equal to b is equal to c so given sets are equal okay children let us see second question in exercise 2.3 Consider the following sets and fill in the blanks in the statements given below with equal or not equal so as to make the statements true. Okay, see children. First, we see the question. Set A is given as one, two, three as its elements, and set B is given as the first three natural numbers, and set C is given as A, B, C, D as its elements, and set D is given as D, C, A, B as its elements. and set e is given as a e i o u as its elements and finally set f is given as set of vowels in english alphabet these are the a b c d e f sets now we have to fill the blanks first question is a dash b and second question is a dash c third is c dash c d and fourth is d dash f fifth is f dash a and sixth is d dash c and seventh is f dash b we have to fill this blanks by using equal or not equal symbol first uh, before going to understand this uh, we have already a c e sets are clearly in roster form now we have to see set b in roster form what is the set b the first three natural number say children what are the natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 4 for the first three of them 1 2 3 so what are the elements of set b 1 2 3 and c f set f is a set of vowels in english alphabet what are the vowels in english alphabet vowels that means a e i o u so f set is nothing but consist of elements a e i o u children try to fail a dash b you can put equal or not equal symbol clearly equal set a consist of 1 2 3 elements set b consist of 1 2 3 elements so right equal and what about uh, second a dash c what are the elements of a 1 2 3 and what are the elements of e a e i o u whether these two sets are equal no the first set consist three elements and they are numbers and the set e consist two vowels they are letters both are not equal so we put symbol not equal what is the third question c dash d c children what are the elements in set c a b c d or elements in that what are the elements in set d d c a b or the elements in set d can you can observe whether all the elements of c are in d s c subset d whether the all elements of d are in c 
ओके वेरी गुड डी सबसेट सी यू कैन क्लियरली ऑब्जर्व ए बी सी डी आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेट सी एंड आल्सो दे आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेट डी हियर द ऑर्डर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इज डिफरेंट इन सेट सी एंड डी बट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स आर सेम ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द सेट सी एंड डी आर सेम सो वी राइट विच सिंबल इक्वल आर नॉट इक्वल वेरी गुड इक्वल एंड वी गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर्थ डी डैश एफ D set consists of element D, C, A, B. F set. These are the elements A, E, I, O, U. These two are equal. No. Why? Here are the elements are different. D, C, A, B are the elements in set D, and A, E, I, O, U are the elements in set F. Here D not subset to F, F not subset to D. What do you write? Very good. Not equal. And the fifth question F dash A. For the children, observe F dash A. F consists of elements ovals. F has the elements A, E, I, O, U, I, Z. It's elements and A has the elements one to three. Children, observe these two are equal. Now, the set F consists of five elements A, E, I, O, U, and set A consists uh, uh, the numbers one to three. They are different. What do you write? Not equal. Let's go for the sixth question. D dash C. C children, what is D set? D C A B as its elements. And what is E set? A E I O U as its elements. And you observe whether the elements of D and E are equal. No, the elements uh, are different. Uh, so these two sets are not equal. So what do you write? Very good, not equal. And F dash B finally. What is B? Set of uh, three natural numbers. First three natural numbers one two three. Where set B consists of one two three elements, and set F consists of the elements uh, English vowels A E I O U. So set B and set F have different elements. So F and B are equal. No. What do you write? What do you write? F not is equal B. This is the second question.